Hey everybody, this is Ben Hansen from Game Informer, and I'm here with Jeff Cork hey. from Game Informer. Hey, welcome, sir. We're still rolling out coverage for Monster Hunter World, and with today's video feature, we wanted to show off something called the Tail Riders. What are the Tail Riders? So this isn't necessarily a walkthrough. We're not going to show you exact locations of where these guys are, but they've mentioned that these exist, but we captured a bunch of footage showing off exactly what these things are, how mm -hmm. they work within the larger world of Monster Hunter World. What are these things? We actually asked Takuda, who's the game's director, exactly mm. that question. Yes. And this is what he said. I'll do the translating here. Okay. So the way this feature works is that on the different maps, there are these versions of the felines called Grimalkins. They're the wild version of the Palicos that you have as your helpers, and by befriending them in the game, sometimes they'll be able to temporarily join you as another Palico alongside you and your own Palico. When they do that, they can not only do this, but they can teach your Palico the ability to kind of charm or befriend smaller monsters on the map. When that happens, they'll be able to help you out, whether that's attacking things for you or going out and scouting for things. So that's how that feature works with the Tail Riders. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, now I'm back to non trans Now you're just Ben. So no, basically, no. they are wild, feral versions of the Palicos. You have the, the one Palico that you do have with you the entire time if you're playing solo or like paired up with another player. Yes. It's like an AI companion. Uh, these ones are, they appear on the map by themselves. And if you encounter them, they can join you so that you will have two cats with you. Yes. And so this is the ancient forest mm -hmm. uh, area. And here is actually the biggest drop I've seen in the game. So let's see if we'll survive it. Oh, I think we're going to do it. <laughs> here we're going against uh, Toby Kadachi uh, with the lead hunter who's joining us as well. Yes. As you can see him do a little bit of damage. Here's a normal sized Jagras uh, in a little cave. Mm -hmm. And the lead hunter has a sweet boomerang, which really comes in handy. And then at the end of a quest, they will also, whatever they looted or found in the environment, you will get as well. All right, so this is actually the Wildspire Waste now. Uh, this is a different map, but unclear if every map has uh, a potential tail rider, a Grimalkin, a wild mm -hmm. wild cat herd, but at least the two areas that we spent a lot of time in, the Wildspire Waste and mm -hmm. the Ancient Forest, they had it. So here you'll see the Grimalkin's little home. This is their home in the Wildspire Waste. They got a cute little camp going around, and if you talk to uh, here Tango, who's our freaky looking palico he's wearing armor made from a great jagras but if you talk to him he says like what he learned from that wild mm -hmm. palico the grimalkin that he was hanging out with and even then we can go into our cute little tent and we can see and equip the item which we actually got mm -hmm. uh, from following down exactly what those tail riders are all about it's going to be the shield spire and you can see the little video you can see of it it's basically a way to draw aggro away from you that's exactly it so some of the other ones I think we saw were like a bug in a cage that they can throw that will electrocute them. Is that right? Oh, the flash fly cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we got in uh, the ancient forest. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, so now here we're going into action against a great Jagras uh, just to show off this extended fight. Uh, this is actually Yuri from Capcom, the community guy who's actually doing the fighting. Mm -hmm. And he's played an unbelievable amount of this game. Oh, my God. I hate to sound like uh, doing an E3 demo, but we got a Rathalos here. <laughs> Hey, everybody, buckle up. These guys are going at it. You can't predict the wild world of Monster Hunter World. He's very angry. So angry. But what I was saying is uh, Yuri is uh, manning the great hammer here, and he has played just an absurd amount of this game so far. Uh, and he says, he said it's his favorite Monster Hunter, and he is a crazy fan which filled me with enthusiasm and confidence knowing that, like, all right, this guy who's an expert, even though he's on the payroll, feels confident. They're like, oh, yeah, this is definitely the best thing have ever done. Yeah. It's just insanity. Luckily, you have your little tail rider yeah. who can help you out because it actually can ride around on a little Jagras, which is very cute, and that's where they get their, their name, the tail rider. And again, it's only small uh, creatures along the exactly. way. Exactly, so they can't upgrade it to where it's like, oh, now I'm riding a great Jagras or anything like that. Right, and it's not just small Jagrases, though. Like on the Wildspire Waste map, uh, you learn how to ride a Kestodon. Mm -hmm. uh, so your little little buddies can ride kind of the more Pachycephalosaurus-looking yes. uh, characters, if you know dinosaurs. And so now we're going to watch Yuri from Capcom, who's actually playing in this footage, defeat... Oh, that's right. Well, you can't win them all, can you, folks? <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, everybody. We have new features coming up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at GameInformer.com slash Monster Hunter.